All right, welcome back everybody. Today I'm gonna to be working on this American Hornbeam. This American Hornbeam has been in a few videos, one recently uh, called Very Unusual American Hornbeam, and that just has to do with the way this thing has grown. This is a tree that I actually kind of collected on accident. It was connected to uh, a much, I don't know about larger, but a, you know, the, the trunk, it was like kind of like a twin trunk and the one trunk is much larger than this one. Well, it turned out they really weren't one tree. They were just kind of pressed and fused together and there has been some die off. Either way, it pretty easily separated. And even though I wasn't after this one, I just decided to keep it. And, you know, it turned out to, you know, it started to develop into a pretty interesting little tree. So uh, I did a little bit of work on it earlier in the year, like I said, but now this first flush of growth has hardened off and I'm going to work on a little bit of pruning. So somewhere in where you're looking, somewhere in the, there's a point where you can see a little bit of movement in this very straight trunk. Uh, so that's where I'm going to aim to have the front. At the same time, you can semi see the base, but really the dominant feature is this big hunk of deadwood here so you know I, I want to show that off I, I'm not that worried about there's not a fantastic root base to show off anyway and the rear side of the tree doesn't really have anything to offer you know all these branches just kind of emerging from the same area from the front uh, you can you know have an idea that they're all coming from the same place but it, do, it doesn't have the same image I, I think it you know, looks like a pretty decent clump style tree from what I'm considering the front. So this uh, top of that main trunk is really what I'm going to be aiming for to keep as the apex. And some of these lower branches have actually outgrown that. So I'm going to start reducing them down. I'll take that off. And this one over here, I feel like I'm going to need to take off at least that much. And now I'm just going to reduce a lot of these long shoots, take them back to just a few pairs of leaves. that branch with a little bit. Uh, one back here I'm going to take down. trying to get this thing back into some kind of shape, a little bit of organization to it. I'll take this one right back to a pair of smaller branches.
All right, that's that's starting to get it into shape a little bit. And now I'm just continuing to just cut back. No, really strong, vigorous shoots that maybe aren't growing in the direction that I want them to, even uh, alternating leaf trees. So you can pretty easily control the direction of the next branch by how you prune. It's always gonna shoot towards the last leaf that you leave. So that's where the bud is at the base of that leaf. With uh, any opposite leaf, leaf trees like a maple, you know, you're gonna get a branch out either side, you know, so you, you can prune off one of those branches later, but it's not the same as, you know, just being able to prune and direct the direction of growth. I think that's okay. This rear branch is still very close to the height of, you know, the branch that I want to really be the apex, but I, I, I don't think that's a, it's going to be hard to just work on over time. I could prune back to these branches here, I guess. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. So that's brought the height of that down a little bit. Uh, this strong shoot coming out of the back here. Take the tip off of that. Continuing to reduce all these really strong shoots. Uh, some of these ones towards the interior, I'm just going to kind of leave alone. It's hard for me to choose exactly where that front is, even now. I get a decent bit of movement from that angle, and the apex is still in the right position. I think that's usable. Let me get around to this side. Again, you get some movement out of the trunk. The apex is still in a good position. Uh, this side ends up looking a little empty at the moment, but it shouldn't be too hard to get some branches in there.
That's actually should be over in that direction. branch back in there that should grow off in that direction now. Anyway, somewhere in there Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reduce a lot of these really large leaves right now, too. And I'm just going to do that by folding the leaf over. And take even a little bit more off that one. I'm going to cut it some, something like two thirds on these larger leaves. Maybe there'll be some that I only cut in half. So I just want to let some more light and air in. To these, uh, you know, branches lower down on the tree, further inside the tree. I'm just cutting them at that angle like that so they sort of resemble a leaf that hasn't been cut so they don't stand out quite so much. And this pruning and this leaf reduction should stimulate this tree to you know push out another flush of growth from some different points than it was growing you know this tree is strong and healthy it had no no plans to stop growing so now that I've removed a lot of the growing tips it'll just grow from you know from further back Messed up that one a little bit. Trying to do this to the biggest, strongest branches here.
helped to balance out the tree too. Instead of these big, long, strong branches at the top continuing to be the strongest and getting the most resources and growing the fastest, shading under, shading out what's underneath it. If all these branches are fairly close in vigor, then you're gonna get a more, more even look, a more even amount of growth across the tree. All right, so that's gonna do it for the pruning on this tree today. So I definitely think I removed, you know, pretty much around 30% of the foliage off of the tree. And, you know, I think that's enough. Uh, I think it's perfectly safe. I could probably take a little bit more off, but I don't think it's necessary. I think this tree is gonna respond well to the, the pruning it got. And I can kind of get the shape uh, tamed in a little bit in check. There really wasn't much of anything as far as uh, total branch removal other than shortening this trunk back here. You know, the structure of this tree is developing pretty well. I like it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.